Eric Cato joining us once again for a look at the forecast. And, uh, you know, I'm one of those guys that calls 90s and up hot, but I know they're, you know, here in the valley, 100 degrees is, is most people's threshold, but we might not even see either of those numbers, huh? Yeah, that's right. We'll be lucky if we get to 90 as we head into early next week, Steve. So we're going to just crank it down ever right. so slightly. So mm. temperatures will dilip, uh, dip below normal. Let's take a live look outside from our Calisters camera. You can see a few boats out there on the water. Today is a gorgeous day across the valley. In fact, numbers pretty much where we should be for this time of year. Most locations did reach 90. Sacramento, Stockton right now at 92. Same for Modesto and Marysville. Now, as we turn into tomorrow, that's when we're going to see those temperatures dip ever so slightly. Hour by hour forecast shows we will reach the low 80s by lunchtime, so that's pretty nice, but it's not going to be as sunny as what we saw today. We do have a low pressure system that's going to bring an increase in those high clouds, and that's going to limit our heating as we head into the late afternoon. So I do want to break down those numbers for you. You'll see plenty of upper 80s across the valley. That includes Manteca, Tracy, 87. Lodi hitting a high of 87 degrees. And keep in mind, we should be in the low to mid-90s for this time of year. Downtown Sacramento, 88. Roseville will see 92. We'll keep it in the 90s over in Marysville. Woodland just shy of that 90-degree mark. As we turn our attention to the foothills, very comfortable weather here. We're talking mid-80s for places like Jackson, Placerville. Forest Hill hitting a high of 81 degrees. And as for the rest of the Sierra, very comfortable conditions. Low 80s. 80s for Quincy. Temperatures will drop into the 40s overnight, so it's going to get a little chilly out there. We'll see those clouds linger into the uh, early morning, even into the early afternoon, but temperatures will eventually climb into the 70s for places like Truckee and South Lake Tahoe. So, focusing on the extended forecast, see this up here, this low pressure system, it's not going to bring us any rain. I don't see that in the extended models, but it will bring cooler air to the valley as we head into early next week. So, temperatures will really firmly be in the 80s. Again, we'll be lucky if we see any 90s as we head into the first half of the week. Here's a look at that extended forecast. You'll see those numbers trending below average. We're going to keep sunshine around before we turn those numbers up as we head into next weekend. Steve. Very nice. Okay, thanks, Erica.